Brian, you looked in your element with the kids in there. Yeah, it's the advantage of having three kids yourself that you uh, you know to talk to the, the kids. Um, and, and being in the system for 11 years, I've done a fair few clinics, so I know how to, how to speak to the kids. And it's a cause you're pretty keen to support? Yeah, for Life Ed, it's a uh, match day charity uh, for this week's game against Richmond, so they're going to be uh, on the concourse um, getting donations and, and money and, I guess, spreading the word of what they do. So i um, be very keen to find out if my, uh, my schools that my kids go to, if uh, they've got the program, because it's a great idea means that you don't have to have these talks to your kids then? Yes, there is some awkward, um, especially for my 12 year old now, there's going to be some awkward conversations that we've got to have soon. So I've got a five year old and a three year old, so I've still got a little bit of time um, in that situation. So if we got this uh, teaching our kids, it saves us, yeah, the, uh, those awkward conversations. On the footy front, you uh, take care of one very big opponent at the weekend, another big one coming up in Richmond. Yeah, yeah, it's been a, a tough phase for us. We've, we've had a couple of interstate games. Um, and then obviously, yeah, with, uh, with the good game that we played on, on Friday night and, and coming up against uh, Richmond, that, yeah, they had a loss, um, come off a six-day break, so they're going to be coming back here looking for a win. So we, we've got to be up at it, um, training today, so the, the guys will be doing our review on, on what we did right against, uh, against uh, Essendon on the weekend. So pushing forward, yeah, we've got a, had an eight-day break, so um, hopefully all the guys are pretty fresh and raring to go. It was a pretty good performance, wasn't it? I mean, there wasn't a lot you did wrong to be honest. Yourself and like, you know, I know Kai's a very attractive man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, mate. Good on you, Esky. Thanks, mate. <laughs> yeah. The big shoulder. The big shot. Yeah. Hairy chest. <laughs> Question. Well, question. Yeah. Question. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, it was, there wasn't a lot that you guys did wrong. I mean, it was a, it was a pretty terrific performance. They probably got the jump on you at the start. <clears> was it? By the end of it, you had them well and truly rolled over. Yeah, they, yeah, they got us uh, reasonably early with, with kicking the first couple of goals. So, um, yeah, to the guys' credit, we bounced back. We kicked, I think, it was five goals uh, straight in that in the first quarter. So, the guys had their kicking boots on, and um, it was probably our, our mid forward connection. We're able to hit our targets uh, going inside fifty. So, uh, we, we're taking a lot of easier shots at, um, on goal, not on. The not from the boundary, um, which is probably improving our, our goal kicking accuracy. So the, the guys played well. Uh, we put on a lot of pressure on, on Essendon and um, made them cough up the ball. You, you feel like it was your best all round performance of the year? Um, oh, it's hard to say. We, uh, I guess our game against uh, Sydney was, was pretty, pretty good as well. So um, it's definitely our, our best game that we've probably played for six weeks. We've been a little bit flat. We've still been, getting, been able to get the wins, which is a, the most important thing. But um, yeah, for the performance uh, all round by um, the defensive actions, uh, put some pressure on and, and then kicking goals was, was vital as well. Did you enjoy uh, watching the Buddy show rather than trying to stop him? <laughs> yes, it, uh, I must admit there was a couple of smiles, especially when he's trying to get those little cheeky ones to get his ninth uh, around the back from, from Brewsty. So, um, yeah, as I was saying before, the, the mid-forward connection, he was able to get some some easy hit up targets because the guys were able to use the, the ball uh, well by foot, so made his, his life a, a lot easier. Have you played much on Jack Rewell? A um, couple of times, yeah, down at the uh, when I was playing for the doggy. So, um, <clears throat> different, obviously, different kettle of fish now. With um, he's probably moving up the ground a, a lot more. You had Tyron Vickery that's probably playing a little bit more deeper forward as well. So, depending on, on how he pulls up after he, him getting knocked out and, and hurting himself. So. Then no doubt I'll be standing re for a, a little while, but it really depends on, on who else is down there. What's his big strength and, and also victory? What, what, what do you have to watch for? <coughs> oh, hopefully that the mid put, midfield put enough pressure on that um, makes my life and, and Gibbo's life a little bit easier with the, the higher ball. So, yeah, when the, when the ball hits the ground, re pretty good on the ground as well, so you've got to be on your, on your toes for that. And if I can bring the ball to ground, we've got some good guys around there to, to help support on at ground level. How do you maintain that? You know, we know you want to be peaking in September, so you've still got a five-week run until yeah. then. How do you maintain the high level that you've reached on Friday night? Yeah, it's a hard question. That's, yeah, everyone, every coach wants uh, you to be playing your best game uh, every week, so it's just about maintaining the guys with, with training levels and, and making sure if the guys need rest that they get the opportunity to. Um, not going to go through games pushing guys that aren't quite right, so you give those guys a, the time to get their body right for that for the uh, end of the season. So it's just maintaining what we're doing at the moment, um, improving. We've still got a lot of areas we've got to improve on. Um, even having having two losses, there's, there's some games that we've played 
uh, pretty average that there's some areas that we had to improve so just slowly building on those um, <clears throat> then hopefully everyone's body's right ready to go uh, into finals. And you've still got a few boys pushing to come back as well obviously Birch a couple of weeks away Ellis must be getting <coughs> close as well Spanger. Yeah and then um, even with Sean getting suspended as well you've got uh, him coming back Jed Edinson that, that started off the year in the, in the seniors he's, he's slowly coming back as well and um, guys down at Box Hill are playing good football as well. The guys are, are doing very well down there. So it's very hard for, for positions at the moment, which is, that, that's what you want. Um, you want uh, the reserves pushing, pushing the guys that are playing seniors to, um, to earn their spots. So it's just you're not getting any free games. And, and the guys that are coming in with the youth um, are really giving us a, a good spark. Well, you've played about a dozen games now for the Hawthorne. I mean, what's, what's your feel? I mean, how's the move worked out for you? <coughs> Clearly it's going fairly well considering you're heading towards the finals. Um, you could say, yeah, reasonably blessed, you would say. Um, <clears throat> coming into a side that uh, uh, Premiership contenders and slot into the, the back line. It took me a little while to get in there, and I see with Shuey going down with a, a knee injury, it's, it's probably been, uh, the, the club's probably been um, <clears throat> very lucky in that situation that you, you get a, a bad injury, but um, you pick up a guy that can, that can play that position as well. So, very happy to be at the club, and, and when you're uh, sitting on the top of the ladder, there's, it's, um, makes life a, a lot more enjoyable, uh, football-wise. What's it do for your hunger? You've been close before with the doggies, mm. but now <clears throat> in the latter stages of, of latter, your career. Latter, yeah, nice. Uh, like how do, you put that. <laughs> what's it do for, for your hunger and your motivation, <coughs> knowing that, that this is the real deal and you're really close? Yeah, it's huge. Yeah, yeah. You can see the uh, the door um, closing, you could say, on, on, a, on a career. So, um, yeah, to come in a, into a side that's, that's in the... Um, I guess you can classify it as a premiership window. I don't really like saying that, but uh, the guys are around that bracket of 25, 26, and then we've got a good senior group as well. So it is very exciting. Um, it does revitalise you as well, coming to a new side. Um, definitely um, had to change a lot of things in, in life. I've slimmed down and travelled a little bit further in, in um, moving from the western suburbs to, to go down to Waverley. So enjoying every minute of it, I must admit. The, uh, the guys have been great, all the, all the staff and all the employees of the club have been fantastic. So it's um, going to round 19. Uh, it's taken a little while to, to, to get comfortable in the, in the side, but it's still a long way to go. Right, do you have to match up, do you match up on Buddy and match practice training drills, <coughs> stuff like that? No, I'm just wondering what, it, you know, what it's like to try to stand a bloke like that. Um, yeah, we've we've, we've um, stood each other a few times at, at training, but um, <clears throat> for me, it's yeah, it's oh, if I do stand him, I try to give him some advice on, on what I used to do when I when I used to stand him and uh, what I didn't like when when he was able to um, see kick eight on me in a, in a um, first final in, in 08, So he does mention that to me a few times. What's his biggest strength? Uh, definitely, his mobility. Um, when you when you got the um, the guys that we've got in the midfield kicking kicking the ball to him, um, makes life a lot easier. So if he's got space and, and and can weave his magic, it can be very dangerous, as you as you saw Friday night. Shane Crawford wrote on the weekend he thinks he'll stay. Mm. Do you agree mm. with that? Oh, Shane's Shane's a very intelligent man, so I'll have to go with that as well. So. Yeah, it's, that's going to play out in, in the due course, but uh, I feel pretty confident. You might have put his price up a bit on Friday night. Yeah, yeah, he seemed to be enjoying his football. He had a big smile on his face, and he, he was very happy with it. So, as as the players and all the supporters were.